This is video five in the blood vessel series. We're going to be looking at the arteries located below the diaphragm. This is, and these are the systemic arteries. That's your list right there. So in the lab manual, there we go. There are pictures. And when I first introduce these vessels, I like to just show them to you in order of how they branch. I think that's the easiest way to remember them is just learn them in the order that they branch off of the descending aorta in the abdominal cavity. So if you'll recall, the descending aorta can be renamed depending on the cavity in which it's found. So in the thoracic cavity, we called it the thoracic aorta. Here we can refer to it as the abdominal aorta. So the branches off the abdominal aorta just beneath the diaphragm, the first major branch is the celiac trunk. That celiac trunk will then branch into three branches. Um, those are not on our list to know, but you should know the areas that that celiac trunk will be delivering oxygenated blood to, and that would be to the stomach, to the spleen, and to the liver. The other branches that come off here, we don't really see very well because they're deep to the organs they have illustrated here, so we can come down to this picture. So there again is the celiac trunk. The next branch that comes off that descending aorta here is the superior mesenteric artery. That's gonna be carrying oxygenated blood primarily to the small intestine. The next branches, we have a paired set. We have the left and right renal arteries, which carry blood to the kidneys. The next branches, these are thin branches you see coming off here, or thin vessels rather, and those are the right and left gonadal arteries. Depending on the gender, they can be referred to as testicular arteries in males and ovarian arteries in females. Those are carrying oxygenated blood to the gonads. The last branch that we're going to see here uh, coming right off the front of that thoracic aorta here is the inferior mesenteric artery. That is carrying oxygenated blood primarily to the large intestine and the rectum. So again, from top down, we have the celiac trunk. We have the superior mesenteric artery. We have the right and left renal arteries. We have the right and left gonadal arteries. And we have the inferior mesenteric artery. That thoracic aorta will then branch here at the level of the pelvis into the right and left common iliac arteries. And there's your label. So if we are going to identify these on unlabeled pictures, here we go. Again, there's the diaphragm. So our first branch right there would be the celiac trunk. The next picture, let me just scroll this real quick. There. Again, the celiac trunk. This next branch, superior mesenteric artery, right and left renal arteries, right and left gonadal arteries, and the inferior mesenteric artery. This large vessel that those branches are coming off of, of course, the descending or abdominal aorta, and then the branch of that, the branches here of that descending aorta, the right and left common iliac arteries.